Who the hell let this hole back in the public eye? I'm just asking. Now, first of all, this guy survived two mass two mass shootings. Yes. One on the West Coast and one on the East Coast. Do you have any idea the odds of that inside of only a couple of years? Uh, crisis actor. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna... yeah, crisis actor. Uh, I'm, 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 you know, it's my, allegedly. Right. Allegedly, we, we can't say anything because, you know, he's he's a survivor of a of a horrible thing. And we need to have we need to let him do the, the power fist and the sympathy and the black band on his arm, which is only missing, a you know, a red circle with something inside it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Red circle with something. Inside. Could look a little weird. I'm just saying red circle with something inside. It. Yeah, just a little bit. An X doing cartwheels. Right. Mm. I'm just saying he he kind of looks like the uh, the sh their youth. Uh, I'll go with that. <laughs> but uh, this cracks me up. He wants to know why we don't need a license to kill people. Because murder is a fucking crime on earth and in heaven. I mean, I don't know. We could make murder illegal. Could work. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm not sure if that's already a law in the books or not. I know it's a commandment. Yeah, I believe that one came right after uh, the burning bush and he brought down the 15. Not to be confused with your ex whore. Well, he brought down the 15 commandments. Uh, he dropped one. It's 10 commandments. <laughs> History of the World Part 1. Zing. <laughs> Just saying. That's I'll bring you this 15. Five, eight, <laughs> 10, 10 commandments. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, because I was such a troll when I was doing the Catholic school thing, I was doing the, the Sunday school thing, mm. I actually, <laughs> bold face with a it's deadpan expression, asked a priest, is it true that Moses came down with 15 commandments and dropped a tablet? And he's like, who, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> I used to mess with my grandfather because he was a minister. <laughs> I wish I had known that. I would have done that. That's I always used shit. to go round and round about Jesus. Doesn't that make Jesus a zombie? He's not a zombie! Or he got really pissed when I called Easter God on a stick day. <laughs> You're going to hell. It's like, what did you say? Hell. I'm like, Grandpa, he's the <laughs> son of God. They put him on a cross, which is a big stick. Am I wrong? No. <laughs> you could be more respectful about that, though. <laughs> like a corn dog. <laughs> I purposely did that just to aggravate. I like my deities like I like my carnival foods. <laughs> the stick in it. That's so f***ed up. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. Be with the pygmies in New Guinea. Amen. <laughs> Speaking of pygmies, though, check this out. If you need a license to kill a deer, why don't you need one to kill humans? Um, they, there is one. It's called the Declaration of War. I, I love this. Plenty of people will think this is dumb. Good for you. Well, because it is. It, yeah, this guy's a moron. It's one of the dumbest things. And he, Oh, my lantern. I'm not looking out for an election, and I'm entitled to my own opinion, no matter how much you disagree. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Yep. There's That's all, why we I have the this. First Amendment. There's a block button. Unless you disagree with somebody's take and you think it's dumb, then you can demand censorship. You see how this works? Totally a two-way street. We're, we're still talking about this freaking noob. <laughs> he keeps popping on the, on the news every so often. Yeah. He's really annoying. He's a ricest cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I even say that? Am I going to get banned? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, He's that a was, racist cracker. That was funny as hell, though, bro. That was good <laughs> shit right there. I would just, if you could go to the casino and you would have better odds than witnessing two mass shootings on two different coastlines inside of two to three years. Unless you're a cop or, or in some, you're in some sort of a civil servant or, you know, actionable position where you're going to see that kind of shit often. Even then, most cops will retire without ever having fired their weapon. That's, that's true. So. That's another thing that, uh, and I've taught, I know a lot of cops, and that's one of the main reasons they actually fear the veterans. Because yep. they haven't pulled their gun or used it. And we've been at war for 20 years. There's a lot of veterans walking around there. Damn right. If they get pissed off and they decide to go in and get their uh, their bean flinger. Oh, that video that we watched, the people who just want to be left alone. Yes. You stir those people out of, out of their comfort zone, out of the place where they have gone to get away from all this shit. Oh, ho, ho, boy. It's not going to be a good time for you. No, it's not. Me, me. Oh, here we go. The beggar. <laughs> 
Uh, what is that saying about beggars? Can't be choosers. Can't be choosers. I think. Yeah. Colin Kaepernick, who equated the NFL to a slave plantation. Yes, because, you know, I mean, all slaves from that period of history when we actually had that, they all retired with 401ks with millions of dollars, and that's why they're all doing so well for themselves now, right? Yep. Just saying. It's not even a comparison. <laughs> now he's begging for a job as a backup quarterback role in the NFL. You weren't even good enough for that. Well, well number one, <clears throat> even if his skill set would land him a position as a starting quarterback. The downside of having him as your quarterback and all the negative horse shit he's bringing with him, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's just not worth it. No, I mean, this dude is going to get booed off the field anywhere he happens to play if somebody is stupid enough to throw this guy a ball. And, well, the thing is, is now... Now that the right is thoroughly pissed and the left is starting to move over to the right, we're seeing that pendulum start swinging the other way. Yep. And a lot of fuckers like this are going to get ground to dust under that thing. You can always tell when a paradigm shift is coming because the, the culture or, or the, the, the political ideology that has had its, a stranglehold on the culture, they start doubling down on all the stupid and all the blame and shame and the name calling and the ad hominems. It's just, it's nonstop right now. I know. And it's because they're losing. <clears throat> well, it's not just that. I mean, they're not just losing. The Democrats are losing their base. Yep. I mean, Democrats are registering, a lot of Democrats are registering as Republicans. Yep. And so are a lot of independents. They're walking away. Yeah, because it, it's absolute insanity. Yeah, because you can only go so far left before you tilt the scales and you go full tilt socialism or communism. And that's already failed. And there's already a handful of these assholes in the House of Representatives. That's right. Flat out said, well, I'm a democratic socialist. Yes, all socialist governments were, Start off were elected democratically. Yeah. <laughs> you, you vote your way in. But and you have to shoot your way out. Exactly. I'm sorry. I should have put a butt up there. Hang uh, on. Hang on. I saw uh, that one. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. A little nice. She's got a nice Middle Eastern edge. She's got the dark, uh, got the dark eyeliner on there. I'm totally. She's all right. Is she all right? I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. Nope. Just saying. I haven't Just thrown. Saying. I haven't thrown any woman out of my bed for eating crackers. Well, that would be very hypocritical of you if you were to throw anyone out of bed for eating food in it. I'm just saying, Mr. Half a Gallon of Ice Cream at 3 o'clock in the morning stuffed with a, with a freaking spoon inside tucked under the bed because even hey, listen, your subconscious self is ashamed. That was Evil Pop. <laughs> evil Pop did that. That was the funny shit. It's totally true. The fact that you ate the whole thing. I ate the whole thing. And thing. Evil Pop was so ashamed that he puppeteered your body like that. You know, I, I wish globalists were half as ashamed for doing that to Joe Biden, that they would hide their, their work under the mattress with the spoon inside. This never happened. Yeah, I fell off the wagon. What are you going to do? Yeah, well, at least your butt's been wiped. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> My butt's been wiped. Watch Grunt's Beak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.